hey i'm terry welcome back to another video so this is my hair right now it was previously flat ironed if you guys want to check that out you can click the cards up above to see how i did that but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i did my sleek ponytail using only got to be glued spray okay so i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair into two halves first just so i can make the ponytail making process easier i'm going to part my hair from ear to ear And then I'm gonna section the front part out of the way. I'm doing my sleek ponytail with my hair like previously flat ironed or even like blown out because my hair looks blown out right now. So doing my hair like in this state made the ponytail process super easy. So I would recommend if you guys want to do like a sleek ponytail you can do it after you flat iron your hair or blow your hair out. The process will be super easy easier so i went in and i sprayed my hair with the got to be spray then i went in with a brush to kind of like smooth it all over the base of my hair and again i did that on the top part and as you guys can see i am sectioning my hair into smaller sections so that my hair can be as smooth as possible so once i brush the got to be good spray into my hair i go in with my blow dryer and it is set at a cool state i don't use it on warm i always use it on cool if you even have a fan on that would be so much help as well to get the spray to dry down like really quick this method was super easy because the spray it dries real fast so you can set your hair into place real quick and easy i'm just going ahead and i'm sectioning small parts into place and i just smooth it with my brush once I spray my hair down and look at how smooth that is guys then I go in with the blow dryer once more just to dry things down and once it is dried down I will attach it that section to the previous section I went in with a rubber band to hold the hair into place even though I really didn't need it because the got to be spray actually held my hair into place but you know just for extra security i used the hair tie to tie my hair down as i go on with the process so this is super repetitive because i'm doing the same thing over and over again to smooth my hair down so yeah just keep on watching guys i'll be back when i'm needed So this is what the back is looking like so far, super sleek. 
so once the back is smoothed down i'm going on to the front section i'm going to do the same thing guys but i decided to change my center part to like a zigzag it's my first time ever doing like a zigzag on the front of my head <laughs> and i really liked it you know it was just it was a little different you know like see ponytail with a little something something so i'm just parting my hair out into a zigzag once that's down i use this edge wax to kind of like smooth my partings and perfect my part by going over with my rat tail comb and cleaning my parts up So once my parting is the way that I want it to be, I go ahead and I repeat the same process on the front of my hair by parting my hair out into smaller sections, spraying it with a got to be spray, smoothing it with my brush and also with my fingers. My fingers and the brush was like my main tools for smoothing my hair because you want that to be sleek as sleek as possible so once you have your hair in the direction that you want it you're gonna go ahead in with your blow dryer on cool or if you have your fan you can run that to help to dry your hair down into place and i just keep on doing that until i get to the center of my head Once the top is smooth to my liking, I go ahead and I use another hair tie and I attach that to the back part of my ponytail. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same process on the other side. So this is what everything is looking like so far now i'm gonna go ahead and smooth my edges you could leave it here if you want to but i have to do my edges to kind of like bring the hairstyle to life okay going in with my eco styling gel first to kind of like lay my hair into the direction that i want it to go and i decided to like curl my little um here at the side right there and I continued smoothing my hair and once my hair is how I want it to be I go in with the got to be good spray on top and spritz that let it dry down just a little bit play with it some more to ensure that it is laid and that it will stay in place all day so that's what I'm doing right here
Oh yeah, and I used the blow dryer to dry my edges down even faster. Once that's complete, I go with my head kerchief and I tie that over my baby hairs just to like keep them in place so that they don't shift around while I attach my ponytail. Now for my ponytail, I'm using this 50 inch pre-stretched Caniculan expression here and it's in the color number one. One B would have been ideal for my hair color, but number one could have worked as well. It wasn't way off. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the rubber band that came on it and attach that to my own hair. Um, I used one pack of braid. I used one half to start my braiding process and then I went in with the other half to kind of like feed in to my ponytail because I wanted a long ponytail all the way. It was almost down to my knees guys. <laughs> so that's how long I wanted it. So I feed, I did the feeding method when I was like halfway down with my braiding. And while you're braiding your hair, you want to stop and check, use your mirror in your back, in the back view to see what's happening, to see that the hair is being braided smoothly. Just check while you braid and you want to braid it tight, but not too tight to where it'll be stiff because I, I personally did not dip this ponytail in hot water. If you do dip it in hot water, it'll be more like softer and more flexible. But the way that I braided my hair, it wasn't so stiff to where it was like cocking up <laughs> to like, you know, fly it all over the place. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So right here, I'm just like feeding the hair in. I'm patting it down. And once I like get the bulk of hair in my left hand, I add in more hair. And I left like most of this in real time so you guys can get a feel of you of how I did the feed in. Once that's done, I went ahead with my little do-rag or my hair tie and I just tied the rest of my hair down so that everything can be smooth and set into place. After a few minutes, I took the durag off and this is what my hair is looking like. Really like the way that it came out, looking real sleek and nice. And I also added that little scrunchie on my hair as well. Really love the way that this sleek ponytail came out. Using only got to be glued spray, guys. This won't wrinkle or shrink your hair. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.